Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you Launcher 7. Um, if you saw my video on Android 7 Lite, you would have seen that it was pretty negative. Um, that, that home screen launcher was trying to copy Windows 7, whereas this home screen launcher is, you know, more or less trying to copy Windows Phone 7, a big difference. Uh, the difference is that you can actually touch all of the buttons on this. Whereas in um, Android 7 Lite, it was a bit difficult to touch all of the buttons. So um, having said that, I quite like this a lot more. Uh, you have the nice big tiles. Um, you know, there aren't many options, um, so you don't have to scroll up and down too much. <clears throat> so what I like about it is it's really simple. You know, you have phone, click phone, the phone comes up. You know, nice and simple, a bit like iOS really. And you know, if you just click the right hand side there, all of the um applications, sorry, all of the applications come up and you can scroll up and down. I haven't used Windows Phone 7 yet though, I imagine it's pretty much the same. And if you scroll, um, if you change the orientation, some of the um, tiles actually change orientation, including the way you scroll applications, which is pretty neat. Uh, though you will see they do have advertisements in the um, free version though it's not very expensive to get that removed by donating um, the other you know Android 7 Lite also had advertisements though I don't mind that there were advertisements in this version because if I was um, if I decided that I really liked it I would be willing to pay um, the donation for this version so let's take a look at the um, Launcher 7 settings. Okay, so we have the option of changing the background colour. We can either make it black, white or system wallpaper. I am happy with it being black. Okay, change wallpaper, change current system wallpaper, tile colour. That is obviously set to green at the moment, though you can change that. Display, modif uh, yeah, display notifications, uh, yes or no, well I think you should always keep that set at yes. Lock tile layout, um, so you must be able to drag and drop the um, uh, tiles wherever you want them. Uh, follow orientation, uh, by default this is not ticked, however as you may or may not be able to see here I have ticked it. Ah, uh, uh, the my camera doesn't like I'm um, filming this screen for some reason. Sorry about that. Um, so we have bouncy scrolling. Um, I haven't tried this. So what would that do? Oh yeah, as you can see, it sort of like bounces, which is all right. I don't mind that. Um, we have animation options. Okay, we have layout animation, which is fly animation, and we have fade animation. I'm not sure what fade animation is. Uh, we have home key animation. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. So I'm going to try the top one, animate tile layout. Okay, animate while scrolling, let animations run while screen is scrolled. I'm going to tick that. My phone should be able to handle that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have status bar options. Uh, okay, status bar visi vis uh, visibility. It's currently visible. Uh, use Windows Phone 7 style status bar. Replaces stock status bar. Uh, by default, that is not enabled. I might see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it sort of um blends in. Does the yep, it still comes out. You know, that, oh yeah, that doesn't look bad actually. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I launch a seven settings, where was I? Um, I believe I was at status bar options. Uh transparent status bar makes Windows Phone 7 status bar transparent. Well, I don't think that matters because I don't currently have a wallpaper. Uh, status bar icon color, white. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, 
actual status bar, show status bar in actual. Um, you know, you might want to select that battery percentage, display current battery percentage. I'm going to tick that. Uh, what else do we have? Have here application draw. Windows Phone 7 style is obviously selected at the moment. I'm happy with that. Backup slash restore, backup or restore tile layout. Um, yeah, if you move the um, tiles around a lot, you may want to do that. And there's an option to remove the advertisements to donate um, in the market. If you donate, there are no advertisements in the menu. Uh, from memory, this is pretty cheap to do. Uh, yep, only a dollar thirty-six. So um, if you um, you know if you like this home screen launcher, it's not a lot to pay. Yep, it must have come out this year or been updated this year, whichever. So yeah, um, I highly recommend you check this out. You know, I don't like using imitation... I don't like using imitation home launches. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, you are a Windows fanboy trying to make Android look like Windows, etc. So, um, this does actually look pretty nice, I must admit. I'm not sure whether or not I would use it um, you know, for everyday use, though. So, oh no, it is definitely usable, it looks pretty nice. And I highly recommend that you check it out, tell me what you think about it. So, oh yeah, it is definitely pretty nice. Um, I still have to um, check out Windows Phone 7, though I imagine it is pretty similar to what I am seeing here. Though, um, obviously on Windows Phone 7, you would get a lot more tiles, etc. So that is um, it for this review and thanks for watching.